Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today to watch another video. And let's talk about topwaters because as we get into the post spawn in the summer, the topwater bait seems like one of those baits where if you just want to catch better fish, you need to be throwing that. So if you're fishing shallow this time of year, I typically try to catch all my fish on topwater. And, you know, obviously there's a million different types of topwater. So you can use them all. They all work. It seems like specific months some work better than others but i think there are some that you should always have tied on so for me i love catching them on a spook i love a popper i love other soft plastic moving baits buzz baits things like that but i think it's important to always have some type of bait with a propeller tied on because of that bubble trail that those baits leave when you have a changing barometric pressure so Anytime the pressure really changes, you should be able to feel it. I mean, it's going to feel sticky. It's just going to kind of feel weird out there. And typically, if you throw a pop bar, a buzz bait, a devil's horse, any type of bait that has a propeller on it or spits water, it will create bubbles. Now, the bubble trail is great for getting bass to follow your bait. You know, if that's a dying, wounded bait fish and it is leaving... A signature behind it that's an easy target for a bass you know that that's a freebie for a bass and bass love freebies so a prop bait giving off that trail of bubbles is just one of those things and and you can't always do that you know those baits aren't always going to leave that you know so you got to take advantage of that anytime you are you know in the summer months the hotter months that top water is just great uh, and I always have that tied on because when that pressure does typically change, you're either going from like a window of time where the fishing's really tough and eventually will get better. So you're going to start putting clues together quicker or the other way the fishing has been good and then it's fizzling off. Maybe you haven't had a couple bites for an hour or two hours, three hours, whatever. And that just seems like it's one of those deals where... And, and, you know, the main river, very important this time of year, but you also have a lot of secondary places that tend to get better as the water gets hotter. So backs of creeks, you know, pockets way back, creek arms way back. If you have a, a population of fish that lives back there and you have a little bit steeper lakes where you're going to have some colder water runoff, those fish are looking for cooler water this time of year. You can get back in those areas a lot of times and pressure change you know, the water is just going to be, you know, have, have oxygen in it and it'll create that bubble trail. So I always keep a top water that makes a bubble trail. Try that guys. Good luck to you. And I'll see you on the water.